Welcome to part three of the monsters. We're still in this god for second level. Well, Praetor continues to beat the shit out of me. If you would please let me go, thank you. Well, wait there, but I don't care. Okay, okay, I understand. You're off the ground, Ultra V. Can you please... Can you please aim for the... What is past Sarah doing? Here we go. I would not be surprised if this take if this takes up like most of the video. I would not be surprised. Ow! Let me go! Great, great. Great, now he's going to go off and get more help. I was so close too! Look, he's in the red! This is bullshit! Ah! Ooh, nice recovery. Oh, is he going to actually fight me? He's actually going to fight me! Despite the fact- Never mind! Never mind, he's going to be the pansy that he usually is. Get back here! This level going faster. I suggest killing off the praying mantis. Wait, that somehow killed him? Excuse me? Oh no, wait a second. I think that was past Sarah's doing. Oh, okay, that makes a whole lot more sense. That makes a whole lot more sense. Either way, creeping chaos done. Over with. Oh, I hate that level so fucking much. In case you can't tell by the amount of swearing I'm doing at the moment. It came from the sky. Oh, this is another one of those levels. Yeah, if you like the Creeping Chaos, guess what? The next level coming up here involves the use of two... Two pterodactyl-like monsters. Or two dragon-like monsters that do the exact same thing. Luckily, I think... I don't think they have the same exact AI, though. No, I don't think they have the same exact AI. I think they only do that after low on health. Oh, apparently another guy impaled. No, actually, I changed my mind. They're the exact same AI. Never mind. Ow! I just remember that um, it has the same exact kind of AI. See, there it goes, running off like a little bitch, while its partner goes after me. Ow! Oh, 
Although for some reason I'm remembering this one a lot shorter. Oh, I want to say like about half of the game is like the creeping chaos. So, story mode is kind of a bitch. If I do say so myself, it's a total bastard. Fucking pansies. Just had to ruin my mood, dang you! Just had to ruin my mood. I was all happy and such because I was. Because I was just finishing Sam and Max, and then all of a sudden, here you come along. And repeat the same exact annoying AI. Luckily, both of them are almost dead. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! It's down! Alright! So that monster's down. Somehow I got an invisibility power up. Who's <laughs> attacking me? Oh my god! Ah, uh, yeah, it wasn't fairly long after all. Oh, there he is. <laughs> There's the old bastard. Bow for Atomic Eye? Ooh. Okay, so here's the gimmick of this level. This actually... This is actually... A boss level. This guy says an ordinary level. These electrical monsters will infinitely spawn. From these, uh, tower things. Now, you can perform a uh, environmental hazard in this level if you know how to use the slam attack. Each of these electrical monsters, because of the fact that, um, that uh, there's so many of them, I think there's like a total of five. The most you can have on screen is, I guess, six. But it's measured out by means of the health mirrors. But it's more so measured out by the health mirrors. What you really need to do, outside of what I'm trying to do here, which is activate the uh, environmental hazard a couple of times, is that how was I staying on top of that and not taking damage until I did that? I have no idea. But. These monsters have extremely low well health, but they do evidently spawn, so there is a constant amount of threat. This button that has the question mark on top of it, if you do your dive attack on top of it, it fills the metal center with some kind of molten energy. If I could do the dive attack, while at the same time kicking away two monsters in mid-air. Get away from me. I'm trying to do something special here. There we go! Reactive venting, that's what it's called. But your real objective is actually destroying these, um, 
is actually destroying these uh, giant vent things that are making these electrical monsters. However, I'm an idiot, and I think that the button should cause some sort of reaction needed to, um, activate the next boss. Not realizing that's actually an environmental hot hazard activator. But you do actually need to get rid of these, um, these, uh, generators. These monster generators that these electric monsters are coming from. Upon doing that, well, you'll see. In the meantime, though, do your dive attack pass, Sarah. Come on, you can do it. I think it's jumping and trying. Okay, so now Pastel is going to go after these giant things. As soon as we go over towards this one. Completely ignoring the other one. There we go. You might get a little bit of shock though. What just happened there? There goes another one. Ow. On to the final one. I believe there's a total of four, if not five. Okay, that was a way of sound glitch on my end. Here we go! See that timer up there? Wait until it counts down. 